What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you some basic stuff in Photoshop SC6. Now, I will not be the greatest at this. I will say that right now. So, if you guys can do this better than me, go you know, go right ahead. So, we're going to just going to open up a new file. Okay, here's your basic. So, if you want to change the layer background, go for layer, go for layer, just going to do that. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna change it to this kind of like purplish. We're gonna add some text. So there's a little T button right here. I'm gonna click it and click in here. And you can so it's gonna type in. This is what we're gonna type in. All right. Now that you have this, if you want to hit Control T, or if you don't want to do that. Can hit and click this and then go to edit and go to free transform and then I'll click it. So we make this bigger, we're done. Click the button, click apply, double click, and you're gonna oh come over here, you see this panel. This is a little T button, there's the eyeball and says tutorial. Double click the T button, go up here up on this bar and it's got a little hump with a T. Click it. And this is all the options you can have as like the wrap text. So I'm I like doing the rise. Rise looks pretty cool. But I'm gonna take this down and go to 40. And then we're gonna click this, drag it up again. Alright, now that we have our word we're gonna click back over here and down here is a little FX button. This is FX next. Click it. Go to blending options. And it should open this up. Now in this, you can make all this stuff. I'm gonna do bevel and emboss first. So I like to see what it's gonna look like. We're gonna turn this up all the way. And emboss it. Should we do it up or down? The inner bevel, that's what that looks like. Outer bevel, no. A little stroke embossed. All right. Now you can change the size. That looks nasty. I'd probably go down to 14, 13, yeah, there we go. And you can change the color of it. So that's that. And then if you want to do a drop shadow, which is okay, it's not the greatest. So if we click on here, we're going to make it just like a dark, dark purple. You can kind of see it changing. You can't really see it much, but if we change this. There you go, that looks pretty cool. And then inner shadow, I don't really do that, but if you do outer glow, that looks pretty cool. So we enter do. So you want to click this little button here. Not that. Just click in that box, and then click this one. Drag it all the way over. Click the color tab. Maybe. There we go. We're just going to make this like a, sort of like a goldish color. Click OK. And then we're going to up click OK and that's our word now once again like I said you can change this color I don't know what that's changing hold on damn it got there we go 
And then I'm gonna change it to black. And there's our word. So that's our word. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Actually, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna change. this color to white and there's our word and then like I said if you want to change the wrap on it just take it click, double click that word again you can do fish which looks okay Arc upper, arc lower, arc, shell, wave, flag, fish eye. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'm not going to change it, but that's what you can do. Up here, save as. As you can see, if I go into my folder, okay, you can't view them. I don't know why you can't view them. I'm just gonna do this, and there it is. Oh, too big. There's that. Um, okay, I, and I guess I can show you the other two that I did. Uh, down, rough stuff. Bitch fit and then boss has bitch. I don't know. I was bored. I was just fucking around. But this tutorial one is the one that I'll probably be putting up in the beginning of my video. If you like it, if you don't like it, I don't know. Thanks for watching.